people want to weigh in on this. Jeff in the city here on Witherden Dibs. Hi, Jeff. What's up? Hey, how are you? I, a couple things. I think that last caller made some sense, and I, I need to do some demographic work, but I think there's not many people from the city that are still here. There's tons of transplants. And, I mean, I'm 60 years old, so luckily I've raised uh, two boys that are in their 20s, but, I mean, they've stayed fans, but I think that last caller making points of, right, there's there's no Barry Bonds to take your 10-year-old to see. And, anyway, I don't know. I think there's tons of transplants. And my other point against your Fairweather fans, I think the Dodger fans that show up are Fairweather fans. Well, how so, it's Jeff? It's easy to love, love the Dodgers, right? Well, right, but the, like, the, the definition of a Fairweather fan is not uh, he or she who shows up when it's good. It's he or she who stops going when it's bad. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. I mean, that's, yeah, semantics, yeah. A little bit, a little bit. Thing, like, like Dibs is saying, I'm going to see every Yahoo with their freaking – New York Yankee hat on when the Yankees come. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's going to be a lot. No doubt. It's going to be a lot. The city and I see all these, y- whatever, uh, young people walking around <laughs> with Yankee hats on. Whipper and snappers. I- yeah. Yeah. Jeff, here's one thing I'd like to say. Thank you for the call. Yeah, Jeff. Um, I think we got to stop the whole, like, the city thing. Oh, there's no... There's nobody who's from here anymore. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. What, no, what? but it, I, I think the city thing has more to do with the amount of people who work in the city versus who don't work in the city. That's fine. I do think that that is a thing. It's not that it's not a thing, but I don't think that a professional sports team gets to use that as an excuse for why their building's not full, because there's plenty of people. I agree with there's you. There's plenty of people. Seven million people the, in the Bay Area. The Giants did this for too long coming out of COVID. You know, 2021, well, COVID. 2022, well, COVID. And it's like, well, the other cities are filling their buildings, well, COVID, because we look at COVID different here. Yeah. Okay, like... It was I, true, but I know what you're saying. It lasted too long. Their, 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 their ticketing department was using it as a reason when it wasn't the reason anymore. Is my point. There are plenty of Giants fans. There are plenty of people from, quote, here, wherever here is, the greater Bay Area. I see Giants gear everywhere. Everywhere I see Giants gear. So this is not a matter of there aren't enough fans and the city's not alive in 2024. Not everybody who filled the ballpark was coming off of work. That's not how it works. True, but that was a portion of it. I would I would argue, I mean, and if if you're down twenty percent over where you were pre COVID, then a part of it is you're not that good. A part of it is you're not that interesting, and a part of it is people aren't willing to stick and stay after work and go to your games. But let me ask you this: If the Giants go on a twenty game win streak right now, is the building going to fill? It'll be closer. Yeah, it'll be closer. All of a sudden, we're going to find all the people. Like that's right. my like you will drive, I will, I will drive my family into the city for the game. Just for the game. Not because I'm getting off of work and there's a game and I've got a white collared shirt on and hey, let's go get a mocktail and go you like no. <laughs> like it's not just that. That was a portion of this. But to me, all of this stuff, whenever we get into the city, oh the free agents don't like the city. And people aren't in the city. And in the city, stop it. There's plenty of people. There's plenty of people. There's plenty of free agents who will come. They proved that this year. They're not going to live in the city. It's not the city. None of this stuff is the city. It's the product. Right. The Warriors play across the street. Is it ever not full? No, and I also think it's the sport. And as much as it is the product, that's a fair one. I'm looking at 2019. They averaged 33,429 a game, and they were 77 and 85. 2019, and this was a team that didn't really have a lot of pop and sizzle. You had Buster Posey, who was you know getting ready to take a year off, and you had the Brandons, who weren't doing great. And I think 2019 was the last year of Mad Bum. Or that might have been the year that he actually went to Arizona. Yeah, I, can't I can't remember. But the point being 
they weren't very good. They weren't very exciting, and yet they drew, you know, thirty three thousand four. And right now you're at thirty two six, which is a little bit down. But this team should be better and more exciting. And people are now back in the city. I mean, to your point, the Giants right now we're sitting here having this conversation. They're ninth in the league in attendance. Yeah, they're top ten, which is fine. It's fine, but. Again, to your point, the attendance, that counts Dodger fans. Right, that counts people who are rooting against right. you. Uh, <laughs> Al, Al in Newark on uh, Willard and Dibs. Hey, Al. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Yes, good afternoon. You know, as, as previous um, gentleman was talking about that we don't have the guy, I've been watching Giants for 20 years going to the games. Giants that got away from excitement. And, for example, there is no more people relating to Panda, Little Giraffe, Chark, Angel Pagan, you know, and, you know, Brandon Belt, and, you know, you know, teams like people come in like Hunter Pence, kids are making a sign like Hunter Pence eats pizza with a fork. Just, just for example, <laughs> it's something for the people to come in the station to the pole park just to have fun, the milkman, for example. But but People Al, in the milk, man. Can I, yeah, can I ask you a question? What would that look like? Because, for example, you just said the baby giraffe, and I'd argue Brandon Belt was at the center of people's frustrations two or three years ago. Fans were often, like, so frustrated with the look on Brandon's face. So I don't think he was this, like, amazing, exciting ball player. Isn't, isn't what you're talking about just more a sign of, of of the times that that were going on then, and they were winning. These are the good glory days, but what I'm saying right now, you, I I am sitting sometimes on top of the dugout, Giants dugout. There is absolutely no excitement, sir. Before they used to throw up sunflower seeds with a hundred pants and people jumping up and down and getting ready, hyping each other. Right now, there is no excitement in that dog. Yep. Everybody's sitting in there. Nobody's talking to each other. Nobody is like, there is nobody like Angel Pagan, for example, being a catalyst, coming there, get a baseball, go on the base, show a shark sign, and then say Marco, Scudero, something. There is nothing, sir. Yep. You go to the ballpark right now. There is absolutely no excitement. No, you're not wrong, Al. Appreciate it. I'm not sure if I'm into the whole calling me sir thing, but still. Yeah, it's fair. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's not, you're getting it's not older. Fair. You're almost 50. No, so I'm call someone sir there on the show. Go. But anyway, <laughs> uh, like, no, he's, he's not wrong. But look, all I would say is, is I think any executive is not 100% wrong if they say, look, we're, we're not just hiring personalities because they're fun. We're trying to win. And if we win, you'll be excited. They're and right. they'll be fun. Right, yeah. right. Like 2021, no personalities, exciting. Full building, 107 wins. So I think Farhan's concept is not wrong. It, it's just his execution has been poor. Yeah, it's been beyond poor. Yeah. And, you know, you're supposed to have this farm system that's going to produce, and yet we're still waiting. Um, 